How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today, we're in a battle versus Shane in the Smogon Overuse tier. Stick around till the end for a bonus battle, and with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Shane. So, are they going to lead off with Rush, the Dragapult, as I led off with my Staraptor? Now, we are True Scouts, we outspeed, but as always, if you enjoy this video and want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. And with that being said, let's go for a U-turn because I don't I'm not confident Brave Bird will take out the Dragapult. We will be revealing that we are Choice Scarf straight away, but I don't think that's really the end of the world. So we go for a U-turn, it does a bit of chip damage to the Dragapult, breaks potential sash. And Sash Dragapult is actually a thing. I didn't realize it was in the last game that we faced the Dragapult, but it is apparently, so that's great. So what can we do here? I'm leaning towards Aloe. I'm leaning towards the Primarina. I think Primarina is the best one we can go into. So we're going to Monroe real quick. And they don't get Poltergeist. So even if they're physical, it doesn't really matter. And they go for a U-turn of their own, which is going to do a little bit of chip damage to Primarina, but nothing too serious. As uh, now they basically have to go into Superior, which is fine. We can just flip turn and then go into Star Raptor and Brave Bird that thing into Oblivion. There's a superior, which is great. We can take a leaf storm from that, no problem. Um, so we can just go for a flip turn or we can go for an ice beam. I am leaning towards a flip turn, so we get a free switch to Mr. Raptor. So they go for a substitute, which ain't good, that's for sure. And we go for a flip turn, though. That's not going to break the substitute, I'm afraid. Unless it does. Does it? It doesn't. So that's annoying. Um, it is what it is, though, at the end of the day. So what can we do against this superior? I'm leaning towards the Garchomp with the Scale Shot. And that could be a good option. I think I will go Garchomp for the Scale Shot. I could go. I could have gone Star Raptor and U-Turn to break this with you, but they just set up another one uh, on that turn, expecting that. So, can't really do that. So, let's see what we can do against this Superior. I am leaning towards the sheer Scale Shot, that's for sure. So, let's go for the Scale Shot like so. They go for a Leaf Storm, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. As it does about half. They do get that cheeky special attack boost from the contrary ability as we miss our scale shot, which is very unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate that we missed that. Um, because now the superior is a big problem. A very big problem. So, what do we do here? I'm leaning towards Terra Steel. I'm leaning towards Terra Steel, I really am. Um, because this superior is a threat right now. It's behind the substitutes. It can set up more substitutes. And it's got plus two in special attack. So we need to Terra Steel with our Garchomp, take the next Leaf Storm like a champ, and then hopefully hit a Scale Shot. That's what we need to do. Hit a Scale Shot. That's all we need to do. So they go for that Leaf Storm. Hopefully they don't get a crit here. Ah. Oh. That still took us out. That ain't good. That is not good at all. So Garchomp does go down after the Terra Steel. I really thought it would live that. Um, but I guess not, which is very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate for us. Let's go into Rocket the uh, Star Raptor, like so. We'll um, go for a U-turn. We are faster after all. We can definitely break a substitute. And I'm hoping they don't go for another substitute. If they do, then we just go into Torkoal and we start body pressing. So let's go for a U-turn, like so. Break that substitute, hopefully. And there we go, the substitute fades. And then we'll go out into our toll call, which would be amazing. Why is Star Raptor so much bigger than the Superior, by the way? They must have a really small Superior. Like, no offense. Um, let's go into toll call now. Toll call can definitely take one Leaf Storm at plus four. So let's see what it is. So Drought comes through. So now Vileplume is a threat to this thing. They go for the Leaf Storm. It's going to not KO us, but it does do enough to where it could KO, you know, something else. So I don't want to set up a substitute, so I'm going to have to let toll call go down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a body press. Body press will do no, not much damage. It'll break the sub, it'll break the substitute. They go for a dragon pulse, which is definitely going to take us out. So that's unfortunate. But Torkoal went down, not in vain. Um, as now we can easily go into our vile plume, hopefully, hopefully, go into vile plume, and outspeed everything on the team except from the Doctor Speed. So let's go into vile plume right now. There we go. Mandrake comes in. Like so. We actually be the superior. The question is, do we KO it with Sludge Bomb? Let's go for it. And hopefully they don't Terra. That's the only thing that I'm worried about. So they are going to Terra. What type are they going to Terra into? Dragon? Maybe. It might not be Valor Plume's day today, that's for sure. So they go Terra Fire. So we can still 
do a lot of damage with Sludge Bomb at least. And if they set up a substitute, then we're kind of golden. Um, but we go for that Sludge Bomb. Clean over 50% and we get the poison, which is nice. Let's see if they go for a substitute or not. I don't think they will. They go for a Terra Blast. Yeah, they get straight away go for a Terra Blast in the sun. So it is, unfortunately, Valplume's time to die. <laughs> but Valplume, it's a very niche Pokemon. It's, it, it either does something or it does nothing. And the thing that it has done here is put that superior on a timer with the poison. And it did such a good amount of damage with Sludge Bomb, you know? Neutral hit, really good damage. Now we're just going to Staraptor, and Staraptor kind of saves the day here because we go, we we are choice scarf, so we can outspeed this thing and go for a Brave Bird, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Brave Bird comes through, down goes the Superior, which is fantastic. So they've used their Terror up as well. So the Staraptor takes care of a lot of members of their team with choice scarf. Takes care of the Deoxys speed. Um, if it's not, it takes care of the Dragapult to an extent. So in comes Shimada, which is going to be the uh, the Samrots. We have to switch out here. I'm going to go Eloma Mola. Now, I'm not really worried about the spikes at the moment because we're kind of in a bad position anyway. What I want to do is get the burn on the Samrots. That's pretty much all I want to do. Um, so they go for a Caesar Sedge, which is going to do no damage. But it does give them some Rocky Helmet shit, which is important. Um, so they get the spikes up, which is great for them. And now we go for a Scold just to get some damage off. They go for another Ceaseless Edge, which is going to do no damage again. But he gets some Rocky Helmet Chip, which is great. If we can burn this Samrock, we get a free switch into Pre Marina. That'd be amazing. So we go for that Scold. Does no damage, pretty much. We do get the burn, which is nice. That's very nice with the burn. Um, Aloma Mola getting Scold is pretty cool. So let's see what we can do here. So I'm leaning towards going for Flip Turn. I think I will go for a Flip Turn here. They go for another Caesar Sedge and miss, which is great for us. I guess I could have gone for a Wish there, but it's whatever. I'm going to go for a Flip Turn and get on out of there. Because um, now we can finish this thing off with a Pre Marina attack. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, or we can go into Samara uh, Staraptor. I think Staraptor is best because we're not going to take Stealth Rock, uh, Spikes damage. So we'll go into good old Staraptor. They get hurt by the burn. And we can finish this thing off with a Brave Bird right now. So Staraptor is going to come through for us right now. And Brave Bird this thing to Oblivion. So they withdraw the Samurai. What are they going to go into to take a Brave Bird? Iron Treads? Probably. Bay Wheels. That's going to be the Iron Treads, right? Yeah, Iron Treads comes in. And um, we get the Booster Energy, which is going to be in Speed, I'm assuming. Speed, yeah, that's fine. We go for the Brave Bird. Let's see how much damage this does. I'm moving for a little bit. Yeah, a little bit of damage. About a third. Not too bad. The Harsh Sunlight does fade as well, which makes my Pre Marina more of a threat now. Let's go into our Aloma Mola first and foremost, and then we'll wish and then flip turn. So that's what we need to do. So there we go. We're going to go into Palindrome like so. They can't really touch us unless they're Supercell Slam, which I don't think they will be. They are Stealth Rocking though. That's annoying. Stealth Rock is going to really pick away our team. That's for sure. Um, so now I'm going to go for a wish. They probably go for a Volt Switch, if anything. They go for an EQ, which is going to do no damage to us, obviously. And then we go for a Wish, just to get our health back. And then we'll go for a slow flip turn this next turn. So there we go, flip turn comes through. Because we're going to get Regenerator on the Aloma Mola anyway, so I'm not too worried about the Aloma Mola. They do withdraw. What are they going to go into, though? That's the real question. Um, they go into Shimida, Shimada, which is going to be the Samurai, right? Yeah, the Samurai comes in. Nice and burned. We go for a flip turn, a bit of chip damage. And then we go into Pre-Marina to get our health back. Pre-Marina goes pretty hard against their entire team right now. So I am going to go into the pre Marina like so. It's Assault Vest, so it can take any hit from the Deoxys. It can take any hit from the uh, Dragapult, that's for sure. Um, spikes and Stealth Rocks are going to dig in. But like I said, if we get that Wish on the switch in. There we go. Wish comes through. And then we're back to full HP with pre Marina, which is great. So now the Samurai is no longer a threat to us because it's both its stabs are resisted and it's burned. They probably go Iron Treads or Arcanine here. So I'm going to go for a Surf to take care of this thing. So they withdraw the Samurott. They don't want to get, get hit by Moonblast. Hopefully we see Iron Treads or Arcanine. We see the Iron Treads. Hopefully Surf can KO from here. That'd be amazing. Because Iron Treads and Arcanine are the two Pokemon we need to get rid of for Staraptor. So we'll go for a Surf. Take care of the Iron Treads on the Switch in, which is great. We made the right prediction for a change. <laughs> in comes Rush. The Dragapult. This thing is an interesting one to switch into because I am going to go straight for a Moonblast here. 
Um, just to see if we can get some damage off on it first and foremost. So you're going for a Shadow Ball. It's going to bounce right off us because of our Assault Vest, even if they're Specs. As it does, it does lower our Special Defense though, which is unfortunate. As we're able to go for a Moon Blast. And Pre-Marina is once again showing why it's such a dominant threat in the OU tier. However... Is it good enough to get the KO on the rest of the team? They can just bring Arcanine in right now and head smash or, or wild charge. Komarsen comes in, which is going to be the Arcanine, of course. And we definitely want to switch out here. Because we do need Pre-Marina for the Deoxys speed, I think. Or do we? We could go for a Surf. I think I'll go for a Surf here. I think I will go for a Surf here. They go for the head smash as expected. It's going to definitely KO us as it does take out Pre-Marina, which is fine. So Pre-Marina going down is all well and good. Um, now we just need to go into Aloma Mola and scold this thing, pretty much. So we'll go into Aloma Mola, like so. Be hit by the spikes, which is unfortunate, and the stealth rocks. We may not take this head smash, but I think we can take one. It depends if they're banded or not. So they go for a wild charge, so they're not banded. We do take it because of the fact that they're not banded. Get some Rocky Helmet Chip, which is amazing. Go for a Scold, which is definitely going to KO them. There we go. Staraptor could win the game for us. It was a crit Scold as well. I don't know whether that mattered because it's four times weak to water. But it is an Loma Mola, so it could be a crit mattered, you know? In comes Shimada, which is the Samurots. Nicely done. Uh, we go for a Wish, just on the off chance they missed the Ceaseless Edge. Ceaseless Edge comes through. Doesn't actually take us out, but it does set up a layer of another layer of spikes. So they are on three layer of spikes, but it doesn't matter because um, Staraptor really doesn't care about spikes. It's just the Stealth Rocks that he's got a problem with. So what I'm going to do here is, knowing that they're going to go down, I could protect. I think I will protect. So I'm going to protect here because what we need to do is we need to let the Aloma Mola go down um, or go for it. We need to get an attack off with the Aloma Mola to break a potential Sash on the Deoxys speed, that's for sure. So we'll go for a Protect, like so. They go for a Ceaseless Edge once again. Obviously, it's not going to work because of the Protect. And then they go down to the Burn, which is amazing. And we get our Wish Recovery back. So there we go. Wish comes through for us. And then they go down to the Burn, which is fantastic. So we now have something to attack the Deoxys speed with. Because um, Staraptor is good and all. I'm not 100% confident that Star Up to outspeeds Deoxys Speed with Choice Scarf. I'm really not that confident. So in comes the Deoxys Speed. Exerts the pressure, which is always nice. We go for a flip turn here because we don't know what they're going to go for. Probably an expanding force if I had to guess. They go for a Psycho Boost, which is definitely going to take out a Loma Mola. <gasps> we lived? Wait, really? I know Deoxys Speed has low, um, not, not high, high special attack, but I didn't think it'd be that, you know... Anyway, we can go and start to now and take this thing out of a Brave Bird, hopefully. They have got a lowered special attack, so we should probably be able to take a Psycho Boost again or an Ice Beam. So we'll go into start to get hit by the Stealth Rocks. But we still have more than half a health left. We now go for a Brave Bird, and we do we do our speed, which is great. Brave Bird should take the Oxys out as it does, and that's going to be the game. GG Shane, that was a fun one. Star to got a pop. I get to draw a Star to for the thumbnail, which I've been looking forward to for a little while now. So yeah, GG came. And we have ourselves a bonus battle. Today we're in a bonus battle versus Lemon from the Discord server in the overuse tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the team you see on screen right now. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Lemon. So they're going to lead off with Samurott. Nice and shiny as well, gotta love it. We lead off with our Staraptor. So we're in a pretty good position. And we can just go for a fast U-turn. I am going to go for the fast U-turn just to get damage off on the Samurott, and then we'll go straight into Torque Hole. So they withdraw the Samurott. They don't want it to go down to a close combat. They must not be sashed. And they're going to go into Slow King. So Slow King's a good one. Takes close combat, that's for sure. But we go for a U-turn on the Switch, which is great. Bit of chip damage on the Slow King, which is amazing. Star Raptor actually does really well against this team as well. Like the Great Tusk goes down pretty easily to a Brave Bird, etc. Um, but anyway, the Slow King is in, so I'm going to go into Garchomp. Garchomp can definitely go for an Earthquake here and... Do some serious damage to this thing. However, I'm going to assume, because of the fact that their whole team is weak to Earthquake, except for Superior and the Latias, um, we should go for a Scale Shot. So I'm going to go for a Scale Shot real quick. I'm assuming they're going to switch out. They do withdraw the Slow King. Can we catch the Latias on the switch in with a Scale Shot? Great Tusk. So Great Tusk is a good one. We'll be able to see how much um, damage the Scale Shot does. We'll be able to see what kind of set it is. And I'm thinking defensive based on that damage. 
But um, who knows, really? Who knows? They probably have Ice Spinner, though. That's probably why they've brought it in. So we hit V five times, which is great. We're going to get a defense drop and a speed increased, which is always nice. But however, we are going to switch out because this um, this Great Tusk is a bit of a problem for our team, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. But uh, once again, if you do enjoy this video and you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, be sure to drop a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. So anyway, with Great Tusk in, we can switch out into a Loma Mola or we can go to Pre Marina. If we assume they're going to go for an Ice Spinner, we should go Loma Mola, get some Rocky Helmet Chip. So that's what I'm going to do. We're drawing the Guard Chomp. We're going to go into our Loma Mola Palindrome. There we go. They go for a Stealth Rocks, and that's definitely going to do nothing for us. We can Rapid Spin because they don't have a Ghost type. We can get the Torkoal in at some point and Rapid Spin away, um, which would be great. Which would be really great. But for now, we're going to go for a Flip Turn because they probably switch out, right? So we go for a flip turn here. So they withdraw the Great Tusk. What are they going to go into to take this on? I don't think it's Superior or the uh, Raging Bolt. But no, they bring Samurott in, which is an interesting one. Because now we break a potential Focus Sash. Not that I think they are Focus Sashed. But we still break it nonetheless if they have got one. With a critical hit flip turn, which is amazing. Bit more chip damage than I would have liked. And now we can switch into literally anything to take on this Samurott. I am leaning towards the Torkoal. I am going to go the Torkoal. Because I want to get that Rapid Spin off, that's for sure. Torkoal sets up the sun as well, which is amazing. So, Pointed Stones do dig in. Drought comes through. We can now go for whatever we want. I am leaning towards the Rapid Spin, though, to get rid of these Stealth Rocks. Because I know I can take a, an Aqua Cutter from this thing, no problem. They go for a Ceaseless Edge, which is going to set up a layer of Spikes. But, like I said, we go for the Rapid Spin, which is going to get rid of those Spikes and the Stealth Rocks that were set up as well. Um, just no damage, but it's still something, you know? Um, so what we can do now is I'm going to go ahead and body press this thing because if they're going to go for another Ceaseless Edge, I just want to get rid of it. So I'm going to body press. They go for another Ceaseless Edge. They clearly don't expect the body press to come or they don't care. Um, and they just want Samurott to go down here. One of the two. So we go for the body press. It should take out the Samurott as it does. There we go. Samurott goes down. Brilliant. So no more spikes. Staraptor doesn't really care about the spikes anyway. Um, Staraptor does hit their whole team pretty hard with Brave Bird though. Except from the Raging Bolt. In fact, no, Star to hits the whole team pretty hard with Double Edge as well. So in comes the Great Tusk. This thing is a threat. It's going to get a nice boost in its defense. So we go for a Stealth Rock, right? Just in case. We go for a Stealth Rock just in case. So they go for an EQ to take us out. That's definitely going to take out Torkoal, unfortunately, as down it goes. So Torkoal does go down, but it's not in vain. We can bring in the, um, the Valplume right now and get some serious damage off on something on the team. Which is probably going to have to be the Glorian Sloking. So let's go Vileplume real quick, like so. Mandrake comes in. And what we'll do is, we'll predict the um, we'll predict the Sloking to come in and we'll go for a Weather Ball. I think that is the way to go here. I think we've drawn the Great Tusk. Are they going to go into the uh, Sloking or the Latias? Sloking comes in, which is great. So we predicted right. Let's see how much damage this Weather Ball does. Should do a lot because it's in the sun and it's base 100. A, a nice chunk of damage. A nice chunk of damage is done. They probably go for a chilly reception here anyway. So we may as well go for another weather ball and get as much damage on the sloking as possible. Um, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. So what's great is if they go for a chilly reception here, everything on their team is, except from this thing, is weak to ice. So if they chilly reception like they have done, and we can take a hit from one of the Pokemon that they bring in. We can get some super effective damage off with Weather Ball. Because it'll now be a base 100 Ice type move. Um, so they're going to go back. We did do enough damage to where they're going to have um, low health for the uh, Startup to come in. I'm hoping we see a, like a, a Superior or a Raging Bolt. But I feel like we're going to see a, Val, uh, Lati a Latias. In comes the Latias. This thing is a threat. It forces a switch. And I don't really want them to Calm Mind. So I am going to go for the Weather Ball. Because I don't want them to Calm Mind. That's for sure. Hitting them with a base 100 ice type move is going to be really useful, that's for sure. So they withdraw the Latias. Are they going to make a double expecting us to switch Valplume out? And they're going to go back into Sloking, which is good for them. However, Weather Ball is going to do a lot of damage still, um, even without the sun. Still does a lot of damage, which is nice. Um, we do lose some HP. Um, they really didn't expect us to do that, I'm sure. I'm really sure they didn't expect us to stay in. But um, it's kind of worked out for us nicely, so... I am going to go for another Weather Ball once again. Weather Ball comes through. Nice bit of damage I'm hoping for. Yeah, there we go. As a, They're going to go for another Chili Reception, right? They use Slack Off. Okay, Slack Off's fine. 
So what we could do here is... What we could do here is we could go Garchomp. If Garchomp is still around. I think it is still around. Um, so they probably go for a chilly reception actually, but... I think it's going to be fine. I think we do go Garchomp here. Because they're not going to... They're, they're not going to switch out. They might chilly reception actually, but I, I don't think they will. So we go into Garchomp like so. Hurt by the spikes, which is great. They go for a chillingly bad joke, which is unfortunate. As there we go, chilly reception comes through. Um, and fails, but they're still going to switch them out. Now, have they already terrored? I don't think they have terrored. Neither have we. Great Tusk comes in. Nice. What do we do here? Do we go for an... Um, because if they're defensive, like I think they are. Do we go for a Swords Dance? Or do we just leave it? I think I'm going to go into my Vile Plume. I think I go Vile Plume purely for the fact that we can go for a Strength Tap. If it's defensive, we can live a hit. It depends what they're going to do. If they go for the Stealth Rocks, then that's fine. So we withdraw our Garchomp because it can't do anything against the Great Tusk, which is great and all. We're going to go into Vile Plume. Great for my opponent, anyway. We're going to go into Vile Plume. Get some st Spikes damage, which is unfortunate. They do go for a Knock Off, which is going to knock off our le uh, li Life Orb. However, the snow is going to stop. So Weather Ball ain't doing nothing anymore. That's unfortunate. However, we can go for a Strength Sap if we really want to. Uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. If we can live a hit, if they don't, you know, they withdraw the Great Tusk, that's great. What are they going to go into, though? Latias, because they no longer have to worry about the Weather Ball. Fair enough. We go for a Strength Sap. That's going to definitely recover some HP for Valplume over here. Because we can still use Valplume for attacking the Superior, right? Uh, Latias doesn't really have a massive attack. But we can still use it. Like I said, we still use it. It's going to be great. We're going to have a fun time. They probably go for a Mist Ball. If I had to guess. So I'm going to go Pre-Marina. Pre-Marina can definitely take a hit from this thing. And Moonblast pretty much hits everything on the team except from the Slow King. So I'm going to go into Monroe. Like so. There we go. Get hurt by the spikes, which is unfortunate. They do go for an agility. So they're a stored power set, which is interesting. So let's see what they do here. So um, I am going to go for a Moonblast because it's super effective. If they Terror, so be it. But I think if they Terror, they go Terror Fairy, right? So they're going to Terrestrialize. What type are they going to Terrestrialize into? Probably the Steel type or the Fairy type. Poison. I wasn't expecting Poison, that's for sure. So Poison comes through. That makes them resistant to Moonblast, which is unfortunate. And they go for a Calm Mind as well. So they have an Agility up, a Calm Mind up. Stored Power is looking really powerful right now. Um, hopefully we can get a special attack drop with a Moonblast. That would be ideal. As there we go. We don't, unfortunately. So that is a shame. That Moonblast did nothing as well. Um, we can't stay in here. We have to go for a flip turn. So I'm going to go for the flip turn real quick. They do go for another Calm Mind. They're probably Calm Mind Store Power Draining Kiss. With agility as well. So we need to hit this thing physically pretty hard. And um, we go for a flip turn. Does nothing. As you expect. So do we have a Focus Sash user that can do that? Um, I don't think we do. We have got the Garchomp, which can scale shot. I think we have to Terra Steel with the uh, Garchomp. I think that's what we need to do. Terra Steel with the Garchomp and scale shot, pretty much. That, that, that's pretty much all I can think to do. And even then, it's like, is it going to be good enough? So let's Terra Steel scale shot like so. So we terrestrialize into a Steel type like so. Making us resistant to the stored power and draining kiss that they have. I'm wondering what they're going to go for. But I'm at the same time, I'm like, hmm. I, I don't know what they're going to do, to be honest with you. Probably stored power. They're draining kiss, which is going to do no damage. It is a contact move, so they're going to get some rough skin, I believe. Should get some rough skin. Yeah, they do. That's great. So we go for a scale shot, and hopefully we don't miss. Scale shot comes through. We don't miss. We're going to get at least four hits on this thing, which is great. And uh, there we go. Four hits. And then five hits. Five hits. Nicely done by Garchomp. So, we're in a very good position because we took a Draining Kiss like a champ. Which means we can also take a Stored Power from here as well. Which means this Latias is no longer a threat. Which is great. Um, it does outspeed us still. But it doesn't matter. We can take a hit. No problem. They withdraw Latias. They're going to save it for later. It's weakened, though, so Star Raptor can pick it off. And they're going to go into the Great Tusk, which is a good play. Great Tusk can definitely take a hit from us. That's for sure. 
Now, with Great Tusk out, they probably want to either go for an EQ to take us out or they go for a Stealth Rock. So I think it's time we crack open a good old case of Star Raptor, to be honest with you. We hit five times, which is great. Defenses are going to lower and the speed's going to raise. And now, because they're leftovers and they, pro they, they reveal they have knockoff, I'm going to assume they're going to go for an um, EQ. And I'm going to go Star... I don't want to go Star Raptor, do I? I do want to go Star Raptor. Now, here's the problem with Star Raptor. They could go for a knockoff. So we withdraw our Garchomp. We're going to go into Star Raptor like so. They probably don't expect us to go Star Raptor. Hopefully, they go for an EQ. They go for a knockoff, though. That's going to knock off our Choice Scarf. So we no longer outspeed that whole team. However, it's fine. It's not in vain. And we can still pull this back um, with a Brave Bird right now. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a Brave Bird. They withdraw the Great Tusk. What are they going to go into? Are they going to sack something off or Raging Bolt? Raging Bolt comes through. So Raging Bolt is a good play. It's definitely going to be able to take a... Um, it gets the Protosynthesis in Special Attack, I'm guessing. Yep, Special Attack, which is great. We go for a Brave Bird. Brave Bird is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. There we go. And now they're probably thinking we're going to switch out. We have to switch out here, right? Into maybe Valplume or Garchomp. So I don't think they expect us to stay in an attack. So I'm going to go for a double edge. We do it. We catch them off guard. Take out the Raging Bolt with the Star Raptor. That is amazing. So now, however, they can go into whatever they want to finish off Star Raptor. Um, I'm leaning towards them going into Latias or the Superior. Superior does come through, which is fine. Unfortunately, we, we lost our Choice Scarf, so we can't take this thing out. So I'm going to go for a Brave Bird. They may go for a Substitute. They don't. They go for a Leaf Storm, which is definitely going to take us out as Star Raptor goes down. But Star Raptor did really well. You know, it took out the um, the Raging Bolt of all things. Took out the Raging Bolt of all things. Now, however, we can go into Garchomp. And because they've already Terrored, we can just set up, really. Um, I am going to go Garchomp now. Hurt by the Spikes, which is unfortunate. But I'm pretty confident we can take any hit from this thing we want to. Um, so I'm going to go for a Scale Shot once again. But... We've only got seven seconds left of the battle. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And that is unfortunately going to be the game. So Great Tusk does come in. We go for another scale shot, which is going to hit four to five times. Like so. But uh, I guess the rest of the battle is just Fairy Mon. So let me know. Do, do you think I would have won this game? They have Great Tusk, Galarian Slowking, Latias, and Superior left. And we have Primarina, Alomomola, Garchomp, and Vileplume left. So it's pretty much a neck and neck at this point, right? Yeah, it's a neck and neck. So not much we can do here. I guess I just go for a scale shot just to see what happens. But the time has run out. So GG Lemon, that was a really fun one. It, was, it would have been a really, really amazing battle if we had enough time. But unfortunately, we didn't. So... GG regardless. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Let me know if you do use it. I'm curious to hear your stories on how it went with the team. I know it's not the best team in the world, but it's, it's, it's pretty fun, I'd say. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.